morning, everyone. And welcome on this rather cold morning to Holy Rosary Church in Mary Mother of God Parish. I hope Gerard is nice and toasty there with his big coat. Good? Okay. But he's videotaping us, so we want him to be satisfied, okay? Terrific. And uh, we celebrate today, or commemorate really, uh, uh, the life of of St. Andrew du Lac priest and companion martyrs. And we'll say a few words about that in the, in the homily today. So let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins this morning and ask God for his most gracious and abundant mercy. Jesus, you are the true light of the world. The Lord have mercy. Jesus, you are the hope of sinners. Christ, have mercy. Jesus, you are the salvation of the just. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyr St. Andrew Dung de Luck and his companion faithful to the cross of your son, even through the shedding of their blood, Grant that through their intercession, that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children both in name and in truth, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. <clears throat> King Belshazzar gave a great banquet for a thousand of his lords, with whom he drank. Under the influence of the wine, he ordered the gold and silver vessels, which Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken from the temple in Jerusalem, to be brought in so that the king, his lords, his wives, and his entertainers might drink from them. When the gold and silver vessels taken from the house of God in Jerusalem had been brought in, and while the king, his lords, his wives, and his entertainers were drinking wine from them, they praised their gods of gold and silver, bronze and iron, wood and stone. Suddenly, opposite the lampstand, the fingers of a human hand appeared writing on the plaster of the wall in the king's palace. When the king saw the wrist and hand that wrote, his face blanched. His thoughts terrified him. His hip joints shook and his knees knocked. Then Daniel was brought into the presence of the king. The king asked him, are you Daniel the Jewish exile whom my father, the king brought from Judah? I have heard that the Spirit of God is in you, that you possess brilliant knowledge and extraordinary wisdom. I have heard that you can interpret dreams and solve difficulties. If you are able to read the writing and tell me what it means, you shall be clothed in purple, wear a gold collar about your neck, and be third in the government of the kingdom. Daniel answered the king, you may keep your gifts or give your presents to someone else, but the writing I will read for you, O king, and tell you what it means. You have rebelled against the Lord of heaven. You had the vessels of his temple brought before you so that you and your nobles, your wives, and your entertainers might drink wine from them, and you praise the gods of silver and gold, bronze and iron, wood and stone, that neither see, nor hear, nor have intelligence. But the God in whose hand is your life breath and the whole course of your life, you did not glorify. By him were the wrist and hand sent and the writing set down. This is the writing that was inscribed, Mini, Tekel, and Perez 
These words mean, meany, God has numbered your kingdom and put an end to it. Tekel, you have been weighed on the scales and found waiting. Perez, your kingdom has been divided and given to the Medes and Persians. The word of the Lord. Today's responsorial psalm is, give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Sun and moon bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Stars of heaven bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Every shower and dew bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. All you winds bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Fire and heat bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to the crowd, they will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues, and the prisons. They will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your grieving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare for your defense beforehand. For I myself shall be, give you the wisdom in speaking that all of your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over to by your parents, brothers and relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated all, by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. and two little meditations on the martyrs we commemorate today and, and the readings in the scriptures. First of all, Sir Andrew Dulac was a Vietnamese priest. And oh, during the 16th century, uh, missionaries from Europe went to Asia, particularly to Vietnam to Christianize that part of Asia. And they did a very good job with great, great opposition. In fact, from 17th to the 19th centuries, 130 Christians were mar 130,000 Christians were martyred by two successive Asian dynasties. Did not want to let their power slip from their hands to the Christians. Andrew Dulac was a Vietnamese priest. Many of them were priests, brothers, sisters, nuns, lay people. Over two centuries, two dynasties, uh, 130,000. In 1988, uh, Pope St. John Paul I canonized 117 Vietnamese martyrs for their work in bringing Christianity to that part of Asia. And it has something to do with the gospel today. Because Jesus says, if you're going to follow in my name, don't look for an immediate reward, but be on the lookout 
for persecution of all kinds, even martyrdom, he said. Even your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your relatives will hand you over because you live under the auspices of the Roman government at that time. And if you're going to be my follower and my disciple, and you truly believe that who I am as the Son of God, then you cannot worship the emperor or any of the gods of the pagan government. And so many, many people, as we well know, in the first three years of the life of the church suffered greatly and uh, were martyred, uh, oftentimes just for the show of the people. So today then, as we hear uh, Saint, uh, we hear of uh, Daniel and the, his proclamation of the fall of the various kingdoms and so on and so forth, again, we are uh, especially elated that we belong to the kingdom that will never fall, the kingdom of Jesus Christ, the kingdom of God. And that kingdom is born in the hearts of all of those who would follow Jesus, whether we are persecuted or rewarded. Doesn't matter. We follow Jesus. He is the Lord. He is our God. And his kingship is over us. I invite you to stand now together. Let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. Today's response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that her power and authority may be exercised in love and service to all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may make their decisions in light of the truth and justice, that embody God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Joan Kelpin, for whom this mass is being offered, May they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother and to the Vietnamese martyrs, for they are all their powerful intercession before the mighty throne of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, in the hour of our death. Amen. On the mystery of this water and wine, that we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Let us stand and pray as members of God's holy kingdom that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Receive, O Holy Father, the offerings we bring as we venerate the passion of the holy martyrs of Vietnam so that amid the trials of this life we may always be found faithful and may offer ourselves to you as the acceptable sacrifice through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified in your Vietnamese saints, and saints, especially Saint Andrew Dulac, and all of those who have suffered martyrdom. For their various sufferings are but the wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. For their endurance, you grant them resolve. And in the struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration as we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out without one voice and end as we all acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of glory. Hosanna the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. From these holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her devoted husband, with St. Andrew du Lac and all of the Vietnamese martyrs, all the apostles and saints who have, again, pleased you throughout the ages, we may be married to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. With him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As members of Christ's kingdom, let us pray for the coming of that kingdom in the hearts of all his, his beloved, as we pray, as he taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave and my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share the peace of Christ and his kingdom.
with one another. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold our King, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Renewed by the one bread, as we commemorate the holy martyrs of Vietnam, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that abiding as one in your love, we may merit by endurance and eternal prize through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Mighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Amen. And so we hope to be able to see you tomorrow, Thanksgiving Day. Hope oh, 9 o'clock, Mass tomorrow, not 8, 9 o'clock. And uh, it's a wonderful way to begin our day of thanksgiving by saying thanks, first of all, to God who has blessed us with so much of his grace and blessing. So have a great day today and an even greater day tomorrow, Thanksgiving Day.